videos I saw on this were so good and so detailed that I didn't really want to tread on much of the same ground. Because if you think this is cool as I do, and I'm sure you do if you're still watching, then you want to watch those as well. So the first on the list is the Plastic Pills video. This is a full hour long documentary and I would say that of all the sources I'm going to list for this, this is definitely the best one overall for me. It focused a lot more on putting things within the context of American imperialism, which is often important for this story in the way that it's told, because even before Allende was in office, even when he was running for office in the term before that, America was already effectively actively sabotaging him and flooding his opponents with money and everything he did and continued to do It was the only confirmed time in history where a US president explicitly ordered the overthrow of a democratically elected government. America was supposed to uphold democracy. It was supposed to protect democratic governments. But here it was, directly responsible for the death of a democratic president. You know, by the way, this isn't just a socialist telling you this. There's documented evidence of Richard Nixon, American interests, big, massive American conglomerates, and the CIA all actively collaborating in this. Even despite that, this system was effectively managing resources in that country to the benefit of everyone involved, except, of course, for the U.S. multinationals that they were trying to kick out of the country by nationalizing all their stuff. Even despite a company owner-led strike encouraged and funded by the CIA of all the, trunk tr mm, of all the trucking company heads that blocked streets and sabotaged, cutting lines between computers and the network, and even with all of that, the Cybersyn project was able to reroute resources around and use a very limited number of trucks and very limited access to roads to keep things running as usual, or at least pretty close to it. And the project was able to figure out all of the most efficient ways to get things from point A to point B, like some sort of wild, automated 1970s GPS system. And what is important to consider is that with all of these efforts and the severity of them, when you're considering how successful this program actually was, I mean, this is operating under sanctions and all sorts of backdoor deals to disadvantage the Chilean economy. And despite all this great context, and I think that this is the best resource on this uh, topic and probably gives you the most complete picture of not only the Cybersyn project, but the coup that would stop it in its second year, which for the record, most definitely funded and backed by the CIA. Again, this is verifiable on the record, absolute fact. But it's also the most detailed look on the coup and the series of coups and operations within South America that it kind of contextually took place in. For just a deeper look at the coup aspect of this, which I can't believe that any creator could possibly look at this topic and think that the coup, the coup is the coolest part when you have something like the Cybersend project to talk about, but Jake Tran has a video that's all about the coup that goes even a little bit further into detail on that specific coup because it doesn't take time to make all of those extra connections to South American um, based American imperialism. And then there's a three part Mashable series. And the first two parts, 20 minutes each, cover the project and almost exclusively that. And I think between these two parts, you actually get the most historical footage and the most awareness and detail about what the project actually was. They save this for the third part of the series, the final 20 minutes to talk about the coup. And I would say that they do at least like a good job of kind of summarizing it. But of the three, I think it's probably a the most liberal perspective on the events and uh, B just not as detailed as either other creator. So if I were to rewatch this series, I would definitely watch the first two parts because tons of juicy details and historical interviews about the Cybersyn project. But if you've already seen those other two creators that I shouted out, then you, their version of the coup isn't really going to bring you any new information. 
And all of those links will be in the description. So if you want to learn more about this project and kind of have your own shower thoughts about how this might revolutionize the world, I encourage you to leave those shower thoughts in the comments so the whole community here can see them and that we can dream about this better world together. Thank you for tuning in.